Hello, Ryan here again with Wise Home Energy. Um, today we're going to be doing some attic insulation, air sealing, and then some attic venting as well um, to make sure this home performs as it should. Um, so this is the house we're looking at today. It's a two-story colonial. Right now it doesn't have enough ventilation. Um, there could be some mold or moisture issues and there's a lot of penetrations including can lights and open top plates that we're going to be addressing today. So we'll uh, take you inside and have a look. So now we're inside the home. Uh, this is the second story master bedroom. And uh, when we came to the audit, we noticed these can lights that you can see on the ceiling. A lot of newer homes, people like to put these can lights in. Um, they look great, but they can be major air leakers. And, uh, we'll show you in the attic kind of what that looks like. So this right here is a can light. It's popped in. That's how they insulated over it. They just kind of laid the bat over. You can see there's a big gap. There's no insulation. So we're going to pull that all back. And right down along the outside, you can see that's uh, the hole cut in the drywall. That's where you're getting a lot of air leakage. So we'll be uh, building boxes, foaming them in and air sealing them. So this is the insulated and air sealed box that we build around our can lights. Um, it's a two inch foam board which acts as an insulation which will also blow insulation over the top of this as well. And uh, can foam, sometimes tape, caulk to seal all the seams. And that's the fix for can lights in your attic. So when we say we want to air seal your attic, this is one of the things we're looking for. We're looking for the top plates. These are the tops of the interior walls of your home. Um, there's often a decent sized gap there, so we will come and remove the insulation, expose these, and then seal them with a foam or a caulk sealant. We are also looking for any little penetrations, any wiring, the wire, the hole that this wire goes down into. A lot of electricians don't actually seal that up after they install the wires, so we'll find those and seal them as well. Proper ventilation in an attic is uh, essential for your home's building systems. We don't want excess moisture to build up in the attic, so adding a uh, high and low vents, so soffits and a ridge vent like we have here, soffits and box vents, or uh, cross ventilation with gable venting is the appropriate thing to do. This home, you can see, was cut about two inches down on one side of the ridge and maybe a half inch on the other side. So we'll be uh, installing a new ridge vent in this house to make sure there's proper attic ventilation. So um, as you can see here, this is kind of what you'd want, where you've got at least two inches on either side of the ridge. Um, minimum of three total inches, we like to cut it two inches on both sides. So this is what you'd want, this is what you don't want. 